What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is Marketing with Dev. Make sure you guys give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this one. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how we spent $110,000 with Facebook ads. This was for one of our long-term clients. Throughout the course of the entire 2022, the ad spend was about $110,000. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how we allocated that budget. Before we get into the video, if you're a small business owner, entrepreneur, or marketer, and you're running Facebook or TikTok ads, what you need to do is click the link in the description and schedule your free ad supercharge session with me. So you can sit down with me, a seven figure advertiser, and I'm going to literally go inside of your ad account, tell you all of the mistakes that you're making that is costing you thousands of dollars every single month. And then I'll give you insights from our proven seven figure Facebook blueprint that you can literally implement right then and there while we're on the call. This offer is not going to last for long. We only do 10 of these a week and people absolutely jump at the chance to have this opportunity. If you want this, make sure you guys click the link in the description right now and schedule your session. But without further ado, let's get into the video. get into the allocation of the budget the first thing that i want to discuss is the different kinds of campaigns that we were running the different kinds of campaigns we were running were for webinar registrations lead generation course sales awareness and of course our retargeting campaign so depending on your business and your strategy is going to determine what kind of campaigns that you're going to be using so as you guys will see the majority of the spend for this client is going to be on webinar registration ads and that's because for their business that is a strategy that they were using a lot of webinars so the offer that they were selling on the webinar ranged from 600 and a thousand bucks depending on if they were having a sale or not so a product or an offer with that price point is typically going to take more than just an ad with a link that says hey come to this page and buy this right so that's exactly why we want to nurture them a little longer with our webinar strategy and as you guys will see in a second our bread and butter for this ad account was running a campaign for webinar registration to a cold audience plus just retargeting the people who watched 25 percent or more or visited the webinar registration page but did not register so the two different kinds of campaigns that we we're running were prospecting campaigns and retargeting campaigns prospecting campaigns are just the campaigns that we are sending out to cold traffic or people who aren't necessarily familiar with who we are and what we do yet right so the majority of our ad spend are going to cold traffic they're going to prospecting campaigns because we want to make more people aware of us and then retargeting campaigns is when you are sending ads to people who already know of you so whether these people engage with you on social media whether they watched your ads previously whether they clicked the link whether they visited your website whatever the case may be they are not strangers to you that is what retargeting is. We spent about $85,000 on our prospecting campaign. So in the year 2022, spent about $85,000 introducing ourselves to all of these new prospects in our market, right? So that's exactly what you're doing with prospecting campaigns. And this is why it's so very important. You need your ads working for you as much as you can to introduce more people to you so they can understand what you actually offer. And if they like what you have to offer, they will decide if they want to, if they want to do business with you or not. But if you don't even give them the opportunity to be familiar with you, then they can never choose to do business with you because they don't know you. And this is why prospecting campaigns are super duper important. So the majority of this spend, like I mentioned previously, did go to the webinar registration. And that's just simply because that is the strategy that this client used and it worked very, very well for them, right? So we're spending the majority of that 85K that was going to prospecting. That was just mainly to get people signed up for the webinar so they can be nurtured on the webinar, learn the information, and then buy the offer at the end. The main creative that worked the best for us while we were running these prospecting campaigns was just a simple creative that they recorded and they were just simply teaching them the exact steps they needed to take to be able to start their own business. That's what our client does. They help people start their own businesses without using their own money, right? So it was important that in our creative, they can see exactly how they would be able to do this. And this is why we always have a heavy emphasis on educational content here at our company because we always find great success with our ads. We're actually teaching somebody something that they actually want to know, right? That is what we found is the winning formula. And another great thing about using educational ads 
ads is that in my experience, these ads last a long time before they actually fatigue. We've been running that ad the entire 2022 and we're still actually running that ad right now with no fatigue because that ad is just very, very good. And when people see it, they respond very well to it. So you guys wanna make sure that when you are creating your ads, your ads should be able to actually help the person who's watching it. So even if they don't click the link and decide to do business with you, whatever they just learned in that ad, they should be able to apply it to their life and see some kind of result from it. So that was the breakdown for the prospecting campaigns. We spent $85,000 to introduce ourselves to a bunch of strangers all over the internet, right? So that's essentially what we're doing when we're doing these prospecting campaigns. We're just saying, hello, nice to meet you. Here's what I do. This is what I have to offer. And this is how I can help you. So have that mindset when you're creating your prospecting campaigns and running your prospecting campaigns. So now moving into the retargeting campaign, we spent about 25K on retargeting campaigns throughout the year 2022. Ideally, we would probably like to spend a little bit more, but we had a lot of favorable results doing it this way. Initially, when you're starting running your ads, you have to wait a little bit so you can have a decent size audience when you're making your custom audiences and stuff like that. And these retargeting campaigns were going to the people who didn't convert on the webinar registration or the lead generation or the course sale. Different kinds of audiences that we would retarget were people who engaged with us on Facebook, people who engaged with us on Instagram, people who viewed a certain percentage of our ads, so maybe people who viewed 25% or more of our video ads, also people who visited specific web pages, right? So let's say somebody visited our opt-in page, but they didn't visit the thank you page. Then we know that that person didn't register and we can add them to the audience and we can now retarget them. And with the creative that we were using for the retargeting campaign, we had a heavier emphasis on actually showing these people how they can do something themselves, right? With the prospecting, it was more so education, just kind of giving the theory behind it. But with the retargeting campaigns, it was kind of a more of a focus on actually showing these people how they can get those results. So for example, one of our best retargeting ads for this client was simply just a video of the client explaining how he makes money in his business and how they can do the same exact thing to make money doing it the same exact way, right? So they were actually literally able to see step by step what he was able to do and how he was able to make the money that he was able to make doing the process that he's trying to teach them. So when you guys are running your ads, make sure that you always have your prospecting campaigns going to cold traffic to introduce yourself to new people who don't necessarily know who you are yet. And then always make sure that you have your retargeting campaigns that are running to reinforce your message to the people who didn't necessarily opt in the first time. So on average, it takes about seven times for somebody to see your ad before they actually take action. So it is absolutely essential that you have your retargeting campaign set up because if you don't, people will just see your ad one time and more often than not, they won't convert. But if you have your retargeting ad set up, you can still convert these people if they don't want to convert the first time around. So guys, that is how we spent $110,000 on Facebook ads, 85K to prospecting campaigns, 25K to retargeting campaigns. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed getting a little behind the scenes breakdown of how we actually spend the ad budget for ourselves and for our clients. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.